Minister, you have the floor. On data encryption, this is something we're sounding out uh, with the Commission, making available of da encrypted data to uh, security uh, authorities. It was clear that in the discussion there are data protection issues here, fundamental rights issues that have to be respected. But, you know, after all these brutal attacks, you immediately have a uh, discussion about what wasn't taken into account, did act fast enough, uh, did one do the right thing. Uh, every time you have uh, a successful attack, then security authorities are criticized uh, and politics. But often, I was talking about Germany, there's a refusal to then give the necessary powers uh, to the security people. So there are plenty of possibilities to improve uh, how we can avoid such barbaric uh, acts, and we need to consider them all, look at them all in depth. We shouldn't uh, set uh, one possibility aside merely because it generates a controversial discussion. And I know that this is something which has to be examined in great depth with a, an accompanying public discussion. And then at the end of the day, you have a decision. What is necessary? What is effective? And what can we do whilst maintaining our rule of law and uh, our societies based on freedom in a good conscience? I started with uh, that uh, first point. Uh, I think we all agreed that the basic uh, principles uh, in Europe is that uh, we have uh, freedom, rule of law, a pluralistic society. We don't uh, want to see that called into question because that would represent a success on the part of those perpetrating terrorist attacks, and we don't want to give them that. But at the same time, we have to consider every possible instrument and check whether in the future it could possibly help us uh, without uh, violating our basic principles. Today, uh, because of the scale of the whole agenda, we haven't been able to go into the details of uh, how we define potential terrorist or gefährder. That is something which we are in bilateral contact about and uh, exchanging ideas and information about. Having a function under the definition of who is a potential terrorist means that a lot of information about an individual and the potential threat they pose would have to be brought together. And again, you need to be able to exchange internationally as to what knowledge uh, and intelligence a certain country has. And within that idea of potential terrorists, uh, you would have to uh, distinguish between different categories. So, again, you have to bear with us because of lack of time. We couldn't get into a discussion of uh, such a definition today. But it will be part of uh, a further process on this. Thank you.